and it is chat gpt time prompts for chat gpt let's get into it right now check out this video hey welcome to the millionaire recruiter i'm brianna rooney your millionaire recruiter if you have not seen this channel before yep it's all about making you the next millionaire recruiter so let's get to it prompts for chat gpt all right in the comments below if you are currently using chat gpt in recruiting put chat gpt you can put superstar you can put brand new whatever you want but i want to hear from you because i have been talking to a lot of recruiters and i'm talking to ones who are very seasoned and they are not yet experts not even close when it comes to chat gpt i just did a webinar on this but you have not checked that out definitely check that out it was with cody cody horton who is absolutely amazing then i learned i don't know at least five things in that webinar from him and it was just mind boggling so this is going to be maybe a little bit of a beginner, but what's a prompt? Essentially, it's a question or instruction given to the bot. And there's tons of different bots, right? But this one's just particularly about ChatGPT. Now, basic structure of anything. You're gonna say, act as a marketer. And this is just, again, an example is as if I'm a recruiter. Act as a marketer. Now I need to have a task, right? Act as a marketer and create me a LinkedIn post and then show as the format. Like, what's the format? Is the format a table, bullet points, a list, a paragraph? Like, what do I want, right? So you have to make sure you're telling it exactly what you want the way you want it. Um, and this is really cool because how many times are you talking to anyone in that exact manner? I would say most people are passive speakers. This is more of a like, I know what I want. Now give it to me, okay? And this is kind of empowering, you know, giving these prompts to ChatGPT. So that's something you need to do. So I'll, I'll reiterate it and we'll have it on the screen here. Act as blank, create a task, and show as format, okay? Lots of different options. Now, another thing you can do with prompts is you can do problem solving guides. How cool is that? Now, as a recruiter, I'm thinking to myself, okay. Let's say there's a sourcing task or, or I'm having a trouble and I'm like, hey, I have this problem. I can't find this person. So like, let's just say, I don't know, staff level Python engineer. I'm running out of places to find staff level Python engineers. Please give me a step-by-step -step guide with clear instructions as to how I can do that or where I can do that or when is a Boolean for this particular role. I'm gonna put in the job description put in my hiring manager notes and whatever else I know about it, right? And it's gonna solve that problem for me. That's just a recruiter aspect of it, okay? There's tons of different ones. Let's say you're talking to a hiring manager. And the hiring manager, you have this problem that they just won't get back on time and they won't ask the same questions in every interview. So it's getting really hard to figure out who's a fit. Well, we wanna, we wanna explain to this hiring manager how, why, we, how, why this is a problem the guide to fix it, and then maybe we want a flow chart of it. Yeah, it does all of those cool things, right? <laughs> okay, in the comments below, if you have done a step-by-step -step guide and used a flow chart, made it all purdy, be a chat GPT, you're welcome, put it in the comments below, flow chart. I'm like, what do I want? Flow chart, that sounds good. Okay, um, what I really like about all these prompts too is it improves your writing. I think I'm a pretty good creative writer, I do it fairly quickly, but you can always be better, right? And you can always be more direct and to the point. You can always be maybe even a little funnier. I don't know. So I would say review the following text and make it better, but not longer. Now, what's better? Well, you can say all different things, but for me, it seems like that works out because it's, I've already taught my tone and what I'm going for and what I'm trying to sell, right? So better, but not longer works for me every time but you can have a similar prompt and change it however you want. Another great prompt for ChatGPT is tones. I love the tones. So as you're talking, you might be really great at having conversation. You might be really persuasive, but for some reason, when you do this, it just doesn't come through the same. Your tone, maybe it sounds a little angry. Maybe it sounds too aggressive. I don't know, or maybe it doesn't sound aggressive enough. Like sales is not in your bones, okay? It's not in your nature. So you're gonna say, I need the tone to be, examples, friendly, motivational, salesy, aggressive, direct. You know, there's all sorts of ways to do that, okay? 
And then last but not least, I will leave you with this because I want to say I could talk about ChatGPT all day long. But the, another prompt for ChatGPT is writing styles. How do you want to write? Again, how do you want to come across? I feel like lately there's been people just talking at. There hasn't been a lot of conversational tones. It's almost like me, 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 me. So writing style, make sure you put conversational. As a recruiter, you have to be able to have full-blown conversations via email, via text, okay? Because it's so noisy. Maybe you want humorous. Maybe you want persuasive. Maybe you want descriptive. So those that can really help with all of these prompts in order to come back to what you're trying to accomplish, which is what? We're trying to get clients. We're trying to get candidates. We're trying to have our content um, be, you know, um, understood and excited on LinkedIn. Whatever you're trying to do, there are tons of prompts for ChatGPT, and hopefully this has helped. If it has helped, give me a heck yeah in the comments below. As a bonus, what I'm going to put in the description below is a link to have a cheat sheet for the prompts for ChatGPT, and hopefully that will make you more efficient, which in turns makes you more money and makes you a happy little cat. But I will see you every Thursday at noon. And don't forget that money is a vessel to do all the amazing things you want to go do in life. Go live it. See you next week. Toodle.